Hello fellow traders, tis I the Rumpled One coming to you on Thursday, May the 25th, the year is 2023, let's talk trading, trading red news with Walmart, yes, we're trading red news two days in a row here, these videos are for educational purposes only, your results may differ from mine and differ from Walmart's, Walmart, we got red news coming up in about a minute, you want to tell the uh, boys, girls, and non, not, non-binary traders what kind of news we're trading here today sure we're trading the preliminary gdp so it's the first look at gdp gdp for this quarter and which is probably the big thing the second big thing is the unemployment uh claims for the week you know that's always a something that moves every thursday <laughs> it's a nice thing to count on if you can get some movement on so even if the market's not moving it'll it'll kick it in the pants so to speak <laughs> yeah okay well let's see what they do we've been moving down this last candle is an up candle so let's see if they if they telegraph which way it's going to go we're slightly above the daily open five pips 18 off the high, 37 off the low. We, so rain, we don't have enough range, that's for sure. So uh, something's probably going to break here. Yeah, on well, my smart range, the 55 is actually 0% in terms of uh, of range. Okay, they're they're moving up here. I think that they, so they should tank it. Let's see what happens. Nope. There we go. Yeah. So if you were quick, you got some pips there. Well, if you went short. Man, those are big jumps very quickly. Yes, they are. Five five pip jumps. <laughs> I don't have yeah, any five two. pip jumps. Yeah, that's what I got here. Wow. I got, they jumped all the way down to 60 and then back up. Yeah. So as you can see right now, we're just waiting to see what happens. And then we'll pick a direction. But it's amazing how... I went short at 62. Okay. You better take your pips. <laughs> What you targeting? Uh, I'm targeting 55, but I don't think I'm going to get it. But we'll see. Oh, if it hits 55, it'll go below there. You're right yeah. there. You're right at a decision point okay. here. I'm out. Oh, nice. Okay. There you go. Six, six and a half pips. Nice, uh. nice shot. Okay, um, before the uh, video, what did I call out as a um, as a low? Um, wasn't it i said something about the uh, launch pad i can't remember what the number was though off the top of my head i don't recall to be honest with you um i'm i'm trying yeah. to scan the charts here i think it was 46 ish i think i was looking at m30 yeah uh 46 yeah yeah 46 there there's a there, it's a top of a range, so that would make sense for an area it's gonna to want to go back to visit. Right. So. So we'll see what happens here. So looking at the M30, this is right here. This 46, because if you look to the left, you'll see there's those two candles there with the tail, those long tails. So let's see if it gets down to 46 and reverses. So we just hit the launch pad. Oh, one other thing. How far are we on the... Uh... Okay, we're nine pips away from indicator two on M30. And we usually, I usually look for it to get to be about 18. So how far down did we get on that candle? We got the 49, I called 46. So, so far, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
just so uh, the the viewers may know, um, we had surprisingly good news for the U.S. It beat on the preliminary GDP. Uh, they were expecting 1.1 percent, and they got 1.3. They were expecting 249,000 unemployment claims. They got 229,000. And then on the preliminary GDP price index, they were expecting 4.0. They got four too. Yeah, it's all so lies. Those, <laughs> <laughs> well, as I like to say to you all the time, the the, the actuals they don't, those aren't the lies. The lies are on the forecast. But you know, it's interesting how you know it, it did beat it pretty pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look if you look at the numbers that came out of the euro and came out of the uh, the pound yesterday. Their numbers were, were their actuals came in um, very very stark in comparison. So interesting, you know, Based on that idea, the the dollar should be crushing the euro and the pound. But you know, is it do is it doing better than it was? Yes, it is. But it's certainly not crushing. Yeah, <laughs> I just flipped over my uh, fib chart to the thirty. I uh, used thirty minutes and uh, twenty three forty four. Is the um, 68 off the high? So, yeah, so that'd be a nice target area if yeah. you had gone in short. Yeah, like so where I did. <coughs> so we still have uh, a lot of minutes left in this candle. 24 minutes. So anything can happen here. It's interesting that we got on these candles the last four one minute candles going down. You know, we got wicks that were testing areas above it, and it's just uh, moving down very nicely. You know, it's not a, it's not just a slam down. Yeah, I see um, traders right here. This is one of those places where I used to get burned years ago. Because I'd see it starting to move up and I would jump in too late and then it would just <coughs> continue down. And sometimes I still do it. Um, just get a little trigger happy. So um, this is why I came up or one of the reasons um, I came up with the state change. Um, because until you get a change of state, there's no reason to try and change your direction. Because state change precedes direction change. Would you agree, Walmall? Yeah, I would. And, and the thing is, you can't just re totally rely on just state change because you go back four candles ago, five candles ago, we did have a state change, but obviously it didn't go. So I think it's a combination of both of them together. So if you get a state change and you get higher highs if you're looking to go long, you know, then it's sort of like, okay, now it's finally uh, this, 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 uh, this, movement down has at minimum gone and mellowed out you know um, oh we got we hit 44 and 46 by the way <laughs> yes we did so now we'll have to see what it does here i'm tempted because to put a long one <laughs> see if it breaks that if it breaks the 43 level then it's clear sailing all the way down to I mean, literally clear sailing all the way down to twenty three thirty three. So yeah. it's just a, it's a question of if it breaks that area, it's got to break it, you know, to do it. <clears throat> because there's no there's no support until that. So that's an eleven twelve pip, you know, drop further drop. Yeah. Now I'm kind of kicking myself for not punching in at that forty six level. That'd be two pips yeah. right there, but. Yep. Same time, you know, um, we did have a state change, and now we broke that high, you know, that the high, not the high, but the uh, open of that previous candle. Right. So yeah, we see so, forty six fifty one. There's five pips. Dang it! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, man. But I I, went, I I try not I to trade. Long. I try not to trade and make videos because it's too many things going on. I'm talking, I'm watching, and trying to hit buttons and stuff. Okay, it's slowing down. Um, so I'm looking to get out. 
Uh, 55 is 55. 55 should be. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I got, I got, uh, 4.1 pips on that. Oh man. That would have been a nine, 10 pip trade. I am now kicking myself. (laughs) I called it. (laughs) And that's, that's the difference between TRO and I, what I did was I waited, um, for, I had the state change and then on top of the state change, I waited for it to go and uh, break the uh, to break the the high of the uh, of the uh, candle that caused the state change. And so, by doing that, it, to me, it just seems a lot safer to do it that way. Right. Yes, I I miss I miss on I would miss seven pips on that trade, but to me, uh, it just seems it seems safer for me to go and do that. Yeah. That's why I do it. And, the, and that's why I target for less pips than maybe TRO does. And there's nothing wrong with either way of doing it. Yeah, we're it's coming back down. It wants to give me a second try here. <laughs> we had another state change. Yeah. <clears throat> and we're now below indicator two. So now, see, it, we've got that return bar, that big up... Uh, candle candle two that yep. came off the bottom so it might try and get down to that open again let's see what happens thing about news is you got return bars usually everywhere <laughs> <laughs> true that's okay because they they generally they they do get filled in yeah you know? so the thing is on this return bar on the the last return bar up some candle one two three ago um we are now at the midpoint of it and i, I know i'm sound like probably a broken record when you hit the midpoint of that candle you know, that's a decision time. Hey, we're back down to that 46 level. Yep. We bounced off 46 on my chart. Yeah, same here. Okay, now we've got us. We don't have a state change, but we do have a flip flop. So that's that's a whole pattern for me. I don't I don't trade that. I'm now above indicator too, so I went in. I got in at 50. Should have gotten in at the launch pad. Yeah. I don't think this is going to make it to the top here. I'm probably going to be wrong about this stuff. Well, needs to, out. needs to break that 52 level. There we go. Okay, okay I'm out. I took three and a half bits. Nice. So, traders, I hope you uh, are getting something out of these Red News uh, videos. Let me know uh, what you think or if you have any questions. Walmart, I think there was a trader that wanted to know um, something about your stop loss and your... I think I sent you the email. I can't remember exactly what it was. I don't recall seeing that email. Um, uh, I'll go and look for it later. and uh, maybe Yeah, yeah they asked a, a question on YouTube. Um, okay. And we're back, yeah, coming well, back into the launch pad. <laughs> well, we got about a minute, minute and a quarter left, but I can go and basically say what my stop loss is. My stop loss is not based on pips. It's based on a dollar limit. I'm willing to lose X dollars on any particular trade, and I'm willing to lose Y dollars for the day. And I just make that decision because that's where my comfort level is. Um, that's different, I know, than what mostly quote-unquote experts say to do but that's just how i deal with it i just go and say i'm willing to lose you know let's say i'm willing to lose a hundred bucks on a trade and that's all i'm willing to lose and even if it if i hit if it, i hit that threshold and even if i think it's still going to come back i just take i just take it take my loss and just say there'll be another trade that's going to come along and if i think it's going to come back well, that just means that there's going to be an opportunity to come down the road for another trade where I can make it back. That's yeah. just how I look at it. 
Okay, fellow traders, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So drain the banks. This is the rumpled one, over and out.